see, this is the correct tarot. So I'm gonna just see what comes out for y'all. We got the Knight of Cups here on the split. Somebody could be feeling romantic, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> well, I seen another card. I ain't gonna bring it up yet. Okay, so we got the Lovers here, Gemini Energy. With the death card on the bottom of the deck, um, Scorpio energy. What do they need to know? Okay, so the the truth is that you are successful, or something is coming out. Some some kind of truth be, could be coming out, or this could be about some kind of contract. Now, with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, this is something about some kind of truth. Okay, we got the tower coming out here, Aries, Scorpio. There's there's a truth coming out that could be even shocking here with the tower. What else? We got the six of cups. This could be you finding out about something um that happened in the past, okay? Tell me more what I need to know. Tell me more what they need to know. Seeing the night of wands. The six of pentacles again can represent something coming, something or somebody coming back around from the past. Um, I pulled a few cards before I started to make a short with, which I haven't edited it yet, but it was looking like there's, this don't have to be this story, but if it's any way connected, it's like there's a, a friend who, something like they they're wanting a marriage to end or something i don't know they want you to end a contract so this could be for the that short and not this but let's keep going and see what else comes out so we got the king of pentacles with the moon and then temperance sagittarius energy cancer pisces um taurus virgo capricorn so this could be a truth coming out about like a husband or a father or something here Okay, you definitely could have an angel that's guiding you here. And I just seen 222 on the timer to the truth. Okay. We got the 10 of Pentacles. Like the truth of something. Somebody could have tried to mess up you. Okay, we got the death card again. So this is definitely. Y'all could have a father around you real strong right now. Okay that could be trying to expose somebody for something here this could be a grandfather a father it's like they want you to walk away from somebody here with the eight of cups unless you know they walked away or they feel like they walked away because they passed and they're sorry for having to leave okay oh with the ten of cups here yeah this is like a family member that's sorry they had to leave with this Queen of Cups, I'm getting that um, they feel your love and your offerings or whatever it is you're, you're giving, whether it's just, wow. The Four of Wands with the Hierophant here could be a Taurus. It don't have to be, but this is a family member. I'm seeing 333 on the timer. Wow. <laughs> you could have something... There could be something that uh they wanted you to have or something, okay? This could have something to do with the house. So we got the King of Swords here, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the Three of Swords, they could feel like that this there's somebody that you that's going to break your heart or something like that. Tell me more. They feel like this person leaves you out in the cold or leaves you feeling lonely or something, okay? This person there is a this person is um a sneaky liar, okay? They want to expose this person. We got the King of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles. This definitely could be a family member on the other side that's trying to expose somebody. Like I said, it could be a grandfather, a father, I don't know. So you could dream of this person, okay? We got the Strength card. Um, Leo could be significant, don't have to be. But it's like this person is trying to hold you back or something. We got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Um, this could be a grandmother. Tell me more. What well, they need to know. 
tell me more what they need to know we got the fool here at the bottom of the deck aquarius energy they could feel like somebody is uh taking advantage of you or taking you for granted or something we got the chariot here cancer energy you could be of some kind of mixed race or you could be in some kind of interracial relationship here i mean that could be why they don't like the person y'all just to be honest <laughs> That could be it. But you have to use your own discernment, okay, on that. But if you're a different race and you got ancestors that may not like the that you chose a different race or something, you know, which that's kind of their problem. I don't know. Um, so we got the King of Wands here. More Leo energy here. Aries, Sagittarius. Or they feel like this person is a burden to you in some kind of way or putting burdens on you, okay? Okay, they feel like this person with the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Wands is a karmic that's going to just continue to hurt you or that this person is dealing with karmics, okay? We got the Four of Cups or they feel like that this person is making you miss opportunities here somehow. Hmm, what else? The three of wands, um, always making you wait or something like that. We got the star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. Okay, with the page of pentacles and the queen of swords here. This could be talking about some kind of friendship. All right, with justice, you could be... If there's something going on with a friendship here, some kind of lies or something like that, you're getting justice in this situation, okay? You could be hearing from this person. That came up in the last reading. Okay, or you could be getting some kind of messages or information about some kind of um, inheritance, some kind of job or something here, okay? You could be hearing something from a secretary or something. Or not a secretary, but an accountant or something like that. I don't know. But some kind of wish here. It's like you're supposed to be a star or something here. We got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. I mean, it wasn't at the bottom of the deck. It was coming out. Tell me more. With the hangman and the ten of swords, this... Um, Now, I was talking about that at the beginning of this reading, wasn't I? That the, when I pulled the few um, cards that I'm going to edit later on for a short for Instagram, uh, I was picking up on a friend who wants a either a marriage or long-term relationship to break up, okay? Because they've got more feelings for that person, okay? This person feels like they're in competition with you, but they're not, okay? That's like a... Okay, so the year of the pig could be significant, but it's like they got this this um, delusion in their head that I don't know what is going on here. Um, but either you or your person is moving away from this friend. I don't know. Like I said, there. So these ancestors could be viewing this karmic friend as causing problems or something like that. This could be something you don't even know about with this two of swords that's going on that, that you don't know that somebody's goal is they want your relationship to end or your job to end or something like that so with the emperor here this could be even be about like i said a job situation with the ace of wands let's see the ace of wands with the empress hmm Well, what I'm getting is that somebody wants what you got. Somebody wants what you got. Now, that could be because you're independent, abundant. That could They could be looking at, if you got a person, they could be looking at your person like they got money or something like that. Or they got something they want. Okay? So, excuse me, there's a stain on my card. <laughs> so, there could be a stain on this, you know, whoever this is that... <laughs> 
this person left. I don't know. I don't know what, what, the, what kind of interaction there was. But anyway, there's somebody who don't want. They see you being happy and abundant. And it's like it's making them all stressed out. Okay. But this could be because they they thought something was going in a direction and didn't go in. All right. But this person is still watching. That kind of came up in the last reading. Okay. So they were trying to manifest an ending for you. <sighs> I'll tell you what, man. This is a weirdo guy here. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some from. I don't want to get some from this one. Yeah. These are, this is two decks combined, the Dream Decoder deck and the, I forgot the other one. Oh, Angels for the Modern Mystic. Yeah. Let me get a couple from the, these decks, please. Cell phones and baby or birth. Hmm. So you, there definitely could be a pregnancy going on or be careful of a pregnancy here. Maybe you, maybe somebody needs to keep up with their cycle or something. I just seen eleven eleven on the timer with some kind of app or something. I don't know, or either somebody's watching your app. If you're not wanting to have uh, kids right now, be careful because that that came up with the Empress and it's coming up. It's a possibility with these cards. Now, if you're somebody who can't get pregnant and the person you're dealing whatever the case may be, this could be you birthing something else. Maybe an idea through your phone. Maybe a business here through your phone. Drowning. Emotions. Okay, somebody drowning in emotions here. Okay, let's see. Can I get another one, or is that all these you're gonna give me? <laughs> okay. Ground yourself. Hmm. It's almost like this person needs to be grounded, okay? It's like. Hmm. I'm really getting the energy of the stalker vibe of somebody wanted to get pregnant by somebody here. It didn't happen. And now they're stalking this person. This could have been a married person or something like that, y'all. This So there's several different messages coming in here, but I'm just telling y'all, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If this don't sound like none of your situation, just look at it as entertainment or maybe somebody around you is going through it. Don't let it get you upset or triggered in any way. It's just a tarot reading. Okay, a general tarot reading. So we got Evil Queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Take control of your own narrative. And then look, two, two, two. Hmm. Maybe somebody's trying to slander your name or something like that. Somebody could be trying to lie about you. Okay. This could be a friend or something, but, you know, somebody could be, you might have to stand up for yourself or either, either this is some kind of boss or something, but somebody, it's like they've been trying to slander your name. And it's like, you got, you might have to even post something like, okay, I know everybody's been talking about this situation, about me, my kid, whatever it is, but y'all um, don't know the story, mind your business. I don't know what's going on here, but. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of people watching and waiting for somebody to make a move here. So, I don't know what's up with that, y'all. But that's what I got for y'all on this one. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.